Got a compliment the other night from my father. He's like, that is really, really good what you've done with that wall. I'm like, thanks, Dad. So if he's happy, I'm happy. Kind of had another thought, too, about taking some more of these. Not these, but going and buying more. Maybe doing something down here for the blowers eventually. Maybe. That might work. Maybe we'll take that, move it this way or vice versa so I can put the blowers here. It's called making use of available space. And using that brain that the good Lord gave you. Bunch of crazy people on a radio. Oh my goodness. Take that. Bunch of crazies, would you? Good night. This is exactly why I wanted a gator. Is to haul things, firewood, jacks, tow log splitters. Once again, we had a dirty lens we'd take care of. There was a one of them circles up in the corner that was just bugging the crap out of me. We had to clean that real quick. Got our floor jack here. I know, I know, I know exactly what you guys are thinking, okay? You could have just pulled the dang thing over there, over here from the building without having to haul it. Okay, yes, I could have. But, in that sense, I needed, I needed my air compressor, okay? So what are you going to do? Take that over, or bring that over here? Walk all the way back over to get the gator that has the air compressor in it? Or, you know... It, it wouldn't make sense. This way, if I have to take the tire off, because somehow these darn weight carriers like to go flat, just sitting. That one is flat. This one, not flat, okay? Why, I have no idea. Them weight carriers are still good. Just the luck of the draw, I guess. That way, like I was saying, if I have to take tire off for any reason, I have my buggy already here. I am 100% sure that you guys watching this video would do the same darn thing, am I right? So what I don't want to do is move this thing so far away from that cord or that outlet that I have to go get an extension cord but I just want to pull it out enough to where this thing will reach okay I don't know why they didn't include or give you a longer nozzle or um uh hose air hose with that thing it is what it is. Oh yeah, she's off the rim. What? Mm. Uh, well, oh boy. So I got two choices, okay? 
I got two choices. Two. Air it up where it is. Or put the jack under and try and walk it out with the jack. I've seen that done before. Stick a jack under the, the dead end of it and you try and move it that way on the jack. Let the jack do the work. Let's see what happens. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. Ouch! Oh, that's exactly why Dad always told me to be careful around these darn things. Oh, Is this thing not... Stupid Harbor Freight Jack. If you guys are watching this, right there is where it starts to jack. It's like it should be all it should be like at least right here. But nope, it's down here. It's like, I don't think these things take oil. I could be wrong. Okay, let's see what happens. I've never, never done this before. It's a little bit of screwing around, but you know what? We're getting it. There. Well, boys, ladies, worst came to worst. I want to have to take a tire off. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to have to be coming back to this project because got to go take another wagon over to the golden brick box because somebody came in for, I think, 100 bale, wiped the box out, Filled the box, the same landscapers coming back for another, another more. It, it's always fun when you get pulled away from projects. Eh, didn't take as much out as, out as I thought, but we can still fill it up again. So I'm back over here. I thought I had a screwdriver in this toolbox. Oh, where is it? This thing is such a mess. That's what happens when you overthink on stuff that you need. Like grease gun, ear protection. Yes, I still lost my other pair. 
but they'll poke the nose up sooner or later. Man, I thought, why are these in here? I don't know. Mate, gee, many Christmas. How many rags do you, does a guy need? <laughs> Look at this. Um, oh, there's what I needed with it. Oh, the inside's not there. It's supposed to be one of them multi tool <sighs> screwdrivers, but I've lost the insert for it. That's lovely. Hmm. Oh well, it is what it is, I guess. Why well, you got two hitch pins? I don't know. I don't know. These might work. I don't know if this will go around it. Oh yeah. Where's one of them deals that you smack it with a hammer? darn things off of there so I just got done watching a YouTube video there's supposed to be a little hole where a e-clip goes in but I ain't even seeing that okay so yeah I don't know it's always something isn't it I was like, oh yeah, this would be an easy job. You know, just put air in it, air it up, and away you go. Not. <sighs> so I went after some, uh, I guess you would probably call them um, 90 degree picks and all that kind of stuff. And what my plan is to put it in here kind of lightly well first of all you get the wrong end dummy kind of lightly put it in here and then lightly hit it with a hammer because i got a feeling it's stuck so with that being said i actually don't know if this is the right thing to use Maybe we might start with the bigger one. Because I'm just not finding that clip that that gentleman was talking about.
might be trying to come off. I don't know. Oh, come on here. Hmm. That's too darn flimsy. Now that's too small. This is about the only thing big enough that I can get in there. I set this down on the ground. Okay, so it's coming off, but it is. Man. It is stuck on there. I don't get what. The point of the grease was. That is why I always keep grease rags in my toolbox for situations like this. Unless it calls for grease in that dust cap. I don't know. Some kind of a clip. Take it, wipe it, grease off. So it looks. No, that's different from a cutter pin. Where it's a good thing I brought this little screwdriver out here so that way I can get a hold of this thing. Oh, mm. hmm. oh. I see it wraps around. Okay. Well, I see. It says a blind man to his mute dog. it is bent like that is because um, in order to get the dust cap back on you would uh, you would not be able to get the dust cap back on any any other way I mean it's going but it's taking its sweet old time. Hmm. I'll bring you guys back. You don't have tires.
then your log splitter is no good. Oh my goodness. Mm. Okay. I'll bring you a little closer here so you guys can see just what I'm dealing with. Is you gotta get these things just right or else uh, they won't come out and these things are just a pain in the butt they are to be truthful with you but like I said if those are not bent up around this way then this dust cap will uh, not go on because the last two sockets in the set even over at the farm because we didn't have any over here at the house well, horse fuck. Need the right damn size. Thought oh, you son of a bitch. So when all else fails, you go for more tools. Unfortunately, okay. When you thought realistically that this was just gonna take a couple of minutes. Yeah. That ain't always the case. Oh my goodness. But you should just cut the bitch off, be done with it. end up doing. Uh, I was talking about aggravating. Good grief. Uh, yeah. But hey, at least I'm doing something. Down. That way I can uh, get all the dang stupid ends. Hopefully by doing it this way, I'll cut the bed out, and then that other part I should just be able to cut it past, bend it, whatever, and then it'll just bend it right past that. Okay. I guess that's one of the reasons why it's a soft metal is for instances like this when you know you just say screw it you go and get stuck halfway coming out in the world Ouch. bitch it hurt <clears throat> I didn't cut enough off of that I don't think
Okay, so I think I sniffed enough of that stupid gay thing off of there to where you ought to pick the thing back up again. Take the tire off and then be on my way. Now, gay. Things are a pain in the ass. Well, there's my cutter pin. <laughs> it's coming up to pieces. It really ain't what I wanted, but. Darn it. <sighs> I had to call in for a little reinforcement. Not that I really wanted to, but I didn't have no choice. What the hell? You gotta take his axle nut off? That's fucking stupid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is bullshit. Really fucking is bullshit. Also, I should just be able to do. So I wonder, take and put this dust cap back on, okay, and then Dust cap back on. I think maybe since it's a tubeless tire, uh, it should be able to take air. Hopefully. Hmm. We'll soon find out.
leaking too bad. A guy over at work, he said, take a ratchet strap, or a strap in general, just like this nice, neatly rolled up ratchet strap that I got here. And what I'm gonna do is quite simple. I've never done this before. I don't even know if the stretcher strap works, to be honest with you. I oiled it up. Oh yeah, it works. Then all you do, well, somehow, to get it to release. Ah, this little guy right here is what you push up on, pull it back. Mm. Dang. Mm. There. Okay. Okay. Thing I want to do is actually quite simple. I want to lengthen this. Well, I don't know what way I got going here. Why are both these on this end? Hmm. Well, I've got one hell of a mess going on here. <laughs> oh, what did I do? All I wanted to do was... Was uh, make this into a circle so I could run this around my tire. But nope. Looks like that didn't happen. Oh, what a disaster. <laughs> I have no clue. Nope. I want this. I want this one here. Which is 
that one. Oh my goodness. Okay, what in the hell? How long does it take to do something simple like um, take a tire off of a log splitter? Um, three hours? And we haven't even gotten that far. I was trying to do was help dad out a little bit. I was trying to help him out and say, hey, while we got downtime, let's fix this log splitter tire. But I have made more work. And that is how it always goes. You always end up making more work than what it is worth. Yeah. So I'm back dicking with this thing. Oh, do I even have a fucking big enough? Nope. Nope. Damn it. Shit. Mm, like the way that that Jesus criminy. <sighs> Fucking all day project with this bitch. Damn it. Seriously, fucking... 24 too small. Son of a bitch. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so he hit the damn thing off in about... What, less than five minutes me fucking around five hours or is it more like two hours I don't know but shit like this is a pain in the ass <sighs>